we want to give God thanks for this forum. I want to give thanks, God thanks for Auntie Donate, Uncle Andrew, for the selfless work that they've been doing in all the ministry that they have been doing. I can recall, uh, I believe it was in 2009, I was called and asked to be a part of planning for passion and purity at Manchester High School. The name caught my attention and of course I got on board. And when I saw the powerful ministry, because it would have been my first time seeing one of the sessions, I noted that this is something that I possibly would have been praying for, wanted to, to see impacting the young people at school. And so it was held at Manchester High School in that year. And then all in my head is ensure we get a bus and ensure we get to passion and purity. So there are times when Auntie Donnie comes over and commends me for all that I've been doing. But my plan was very simple. Ensure we get a bus and ensure that some students go. <laughs> and so we, I think we have been from Manchester High School to most, if not all, of the Passion and Purity events that have been in. We have had numbers from, I remember one year, I think it was rainy to Knox, and I had six students, but passion and purity was able to impact those six students. I used to have um, some numbers, 14, like, you know, those special Bible numbers, 14, were like nobody else come in, even after everybody has signed up. And but what I noted over the years is the impact that it has had, especially I had a core group that they were they were they were into worship. And that's one of the things that happens like on the bus coming up. There's a time when I just turn around and say, all right, no, it's worship time now. And there are times when I don't even have to say, they themselves just say, Let's, we're gonna prepare our hearts now and we're going to get in and we're gonna worship in. And so when they do that, sometimes we don't get there on time because of the distance. So we may miss like the first session or we might come when the first session is going on. But once they get in, they just get into what is happening so that by the time that first speaker speaks, uh, what we note is that there's such powerful presence of God in the place. And then there's also personal ministry. Uh, one of the joys, joys of passion and purity is when I see my young people going up to the altar. You know, I wouldn't know perhaps some of the others, but when I see my young people, that the word would have touched them, that the ministry would have touched them, and they're at the altar and they're getting ministry because some of them have been going through all kinds of things. There are times some of our students come to school, they have no money. They're having all kinds of chaos in the home and so on. And then when they can get an outlet like this, this powerful ministry, this whole day ministry, where they can come into an auditorium and they can see so many young people. I remember one young, um, one, one of my students said, she felt she felt so it was such a powerful impact on her because she had never been in an auditorium with only young people and everybody was worshiping and they were praising God and so that was such an impact on them and so the, in their struggles when they come they get transformed I myself come in there are times when I come in and I'm so tired and I can recall and God bless his soul brother Jermaine grabbed me one year and just began to pray and it wasn't asked for anything but the spirit of the lord would have worked in him and i just want to give god thanks for persons in leadership who are so in tune with the power and the spirit of the living god i can recall in one of our sessions one young man well 
this this past year, let's put it this way, um, for the Valentine's special, three of my young people who would have been in earlier groups were able to impact the younger ones now in the Valentine's group in terms of living that passionate and pure life. And so when I saw that I can give you feedback, that impact has been had. When I think about one year when I went, I, I, this, I said, okay, it's time for us to leave now. That year was probably one of the only years passion and purity ended so early. And my young people decided they're not leaving yet. When I looked up at the altar, I saw all the young men up there and they were praying, they held hands and they were praying. Now you know, and I know, and at that particular one, the ministry was made to the young men. And I'm telling you, when I looked up there, and I saw the young men and they were, they were, because I had people in there who when they joined ISF, they were not saved yet and, and that kind of thing. And to see them come in and then later on to see them minister. When I saw them, I don't know, the Holy Spirit just seemed to have grabbed all of the girls and just, they just circled around those young men and everybody began to pray and so on. And I looked at that and I said, my God, it's just powerful impact. Nobody who has come through passion and purity has remained unchanged. And so we just want to give God thanks for that. We give God thanks for the books. Because I remember some of them usually carry around the books like they were Bible. And they would have the books and they would be learning things out of them. They, 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 they had all kinds of things. Um, I have non-denominational students. We know ISCF is non-denominational. Hence, Passion and Purity also takes on that. And Brother Jermaine would have made reference to it that I've had persons who come from some background. They don't, they're not Pentecostal in any way. And by the time the Holy Spirit hit them, you wonder. <laughs> because every, and everybody is able to, to worship in such a powerful way. So we give God thanks for that. Um, Yes, our presidents, our everyone who was the, who have been there, we just give God thanks that they have been able to be impacted through this powerful ministry. We continue to ask God's blessing upon the ministry and the leadership of of passion and purity, that it would continue to go strong, to grow strong. Oh, please let me, as I say, Uncle Andrew in the chat. I, I don't want to miss out this, this, this part of the testimony because he ministered to a young lady, uh, one of our students. I remember her coming to school and she said that her father came into the house and mashed out all of the windows. I, I just remember on a day we were at a conference, right now I don't remember which one it is, and Uncle Andrew came to me with, with this student and said he believes that God is giving him a word for the student. And he gave her the word. And I wasn't even paying attention. But, but when he said what he said, I realized that she was in danger. And God just sent Uncle Andrew to be able to impact her on that day. I happened to be online one day at a particular church in my in at um you would know this, um, first assembly. She got baptized at first assembly this within this year. So we give God thanks for that. Right? So there are many things that are happening. And so uh, just for those who are coming in for the first time, you pray for this ministry. You can share with this ministry, give into this ministry, give into a young person who is interested in this ministry, you cannot lose out. God bless you, everyone.